Hey guys and welcome back. I have a super cool video. I got this from Patrick's blog. It looks really, really cool. What if you want to have a combo chart here with different axes in the timeline? Um, so over here, I have my graph which shows different timelines over here. That is, it shows the different years in the x-axis. It also shows the week start quarter. And I've actually colored this based on the year so that it becomes nice and simple to view, right? And what happens is when you zoom in, it shows you even more details. For example, now it's showing me the month name. I can go in again and it shows me the year and month. I've also got uh, the weeks here, right? But when I zoom out, it again goes back to it shows me the year. It shows me the quarter week start and different things like that. So how do you change this so that when you zoom in, it shows you something. And when you zoom out, it gives you a different perspective. It's really, really cool, right? The thing to know over here is that there are different tags that you can give to your to your date fields. So let's go into our data editor. And for example, now I have my date field that is the order date, right? So I'm loading my fact table with the order date. And then what I do is I go into, I create a new, new little sheet over here, which says custom your fields. And I'm creating a custom time table based on well the click functions different functions right and here i say hey derive fields from the field order date right so in my fact table i have a date column so i take that and i say hey click what you're going to do is take my column called order date take all the dates and then using time create these different columns so what are these columns now essentially what it's going to do is from my order date i'm going to extract a year the way we get the different symbols here is by giving each of this a different tag. If you want something to show up in the axis, we give it a tag called dollar axis. If you want it to be in the zoomed out. So for example, over here, I'm not zoomed in and it's showing me year and it's showing me the week start here, right? Now, as it's zoomed out, it's showing me these two. That's because I have a simplified tag along with the other two. If I want to show even more granularity in my timeline, what I want to do is tag it with qualified. So the three different tags, one is access, one is simplified, and one is qualified. So access means that it's going to plot a value here in your access line, that is the x-axis. Simplified means that you want this to show when it's zoomed out. Qualified means that when you zoom in, it shows you more details. Let's check it out. So we have this here. Uh, let's make a small change and see now what I'm doing is I want to say, hey, take the date and extract the month from it. So it's going to get the month name and I'm going to make it a dual with month start. So it gives you gives it a date and uh, and the month name. Right. So let's take this. And over here, I'm going to change this one to simplified as well to see how it shows up. Go back here. Now, right now, it's not showing. Let me just expand it. There's no space here. Um, let me just reduce this. Right. And now when you see here, it plots the month name because I said I want the I want the month in my simplified as well. This is really, really cool. And I think it can seriously elevate your um, your dashboard game. Just give it a try. I'll have the link for this template and um, and the script here below so that you can try it out for yourself. So over here, basically, you have simplified qualified tag. And when you go in, I'm, I plot my week because I want the plot for each week. You could change this, right? You could say your month and you get it like this. And you go back here and change the dimensions per year. If you want more granularity, you go in and here I say one of my functions here is weak. So that's the most granular one. It's qualified. So let us me let me go back here and I say order time week. And now you get this. So I go back to my dimensions. Good. Now it's colored by dimensions and you have the name and the week here looks a bit too much right so let me uh let me maybe take this away and make this as qualified and now we see that it shows the year and the week start so play around using different simplified qualified um, tags so play around with it sometimes it changes based on the resolution of the screen so um 
give it a try hope you like it um, all this and more cheat codes in the cheat sheet check it out and check out the course see you in the next one peace